like you're no man. But that thing... It scares me. Hi trainers, we're doing something super different today and that is a rant video. Now, please don't feel like, you know, this is just like my thoughts and a lot of it is actually pretty over exaggerated with how I feel and things like that. It's more like I want to bring a place for us to vent, you know, our frustrations with like very strong Pokemon maybe because I, uh, I was like doing some community testing, not testing, but like I was asking your thoughts about certain Pokemon and a lot of you are frustrated with Venusaur as well. Some of you don't think Venusaur is OP and that's fine. I'm just going by more of like how I feel and this is how I feel. So if you want to rant too, leave in the comments down below. But yeah, this is also just for entertainment purposes as well. Like I like to bring light to situations that may, may be very frustrating to deal with because it helps with my sanity. <laughs> so. We're going to be talking about how strong Venusaur is at the moment and this gameplay is not live gameplay. I'm playing in the background showing you how strong Venusaur can be. Um, like it's actually nuts. Like everything in Venusaur's kit, like this buff they did in September just literally bought Venusaur from D tier all the way to... Um, I, I, for me, I find Venusaur to be S tier. I know not everyone agrees with that, but for me, I find it to be at least very high in the tier list. And it's crazy. Like, look at that. Like, what is that? I just whipped all three of them. Like, Venusaur's basic attack. Okay, so Venusaur's had this basic attack from the beginning. And I would say it's a very strong basic attack, but it wasn't enough to carry Venusaur before the buff. It was, it was very strong, though, because it has crowd control. It does a ton of damage. And that sound, the sound it does, I don't know how to, like, it's just, it, it scares me. It, it terrifies me. Like, it just hurts. Like, I, I'm the one that's doing it, but I feel the pain, you know? Like, it's just, it's crazy. So yeah, we're going to be talking about Venusaur. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you don't think it's OP, that's fine. You know, everyone has the Pokemon they struggle with. And Venusaur is just someone who, like, I don't think Venusaur is like the easiest Pokemon to play in the world. Like, you still can counter it in a way. It's a harder to counter than other Pokemon, but you can still counter it. So let's like begin. First of all, Venusaur's passive. So Venusaur's passive, when HP is 30% or less, you increase all the damage dealt by yourself. Like the damage you deal is increased by 20%. So when your health is lower, you deal more damage. And you know, with its moveset that pretty much everyone goes at the moment, like the popular meta moveset, is Petal Dance and Giga Drain. So here's Petal Dance, I'm running at them, there's petals flying around me, it does tick damage, it's continuous, and Giga Drain, it heals me, but not only does it heal me, it also reduces the damage taken by 40% when you use this move for a short time. That's insane. Not only are you just dealing tons of damage, and you're healing, because Giga Drain also heals you, you're dealing tons of damage, you're healing yourself, and you're also taking reduced damage, and then you deal even more damage when you have health. And, okay guys, and Petal Dance also, it also makes you super fast. So you have a lot of speed. You can literally, you're faster than the Flash, you're just running at everyone. Like if you need to get out and escape because the fight's not looking too good for you, just pop on Petal Dance and you're just out of there. And also, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. When you use Petal Dance on an enemy, it reduces the cooldown of Giga Drain constantly. So just the cooldown reduction is being reduced. Boom, 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 boom. You can just do it so many times. But yeah, not to sound so preachy, but <laughs> it's actually nuts. It's just, um, I don't know, this might be, oh my god, look at the six snipe. <laughs> I didn't think Greninja would die there when I was playing this game. Like, I was very surprised. Um, but yeah, I just, like, don't think Venusaur is very balanced. I think Venusaur is really strong at the moment. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I'm happy for Venusaur. Like, it must have sucked to be always being, like, on the bottom tier a lot of the time. And people, like... Made a lot of the comments made fun of Venusaur a lot because like it was pretty weak at the start. But personally, like I always found Venusaur to be such a fun Pokemon to play. Like Venusaur was one of the Pokemon 
that I played like not a lot a lot but I wanted to make it work because I love the play style so it is nice that I can play it now but at the same time it just feels so strong that I feel like it's sometimes like the amount of damage I do to enemies it sometimes feels like a bit unfair like I should have died so quickly here but I was able to at least take one of them like I'm pretty sure I die here to this Venusaur um, but the fact that I survived that for as long as I did is crazy because Venusaur is an attacker. Um, it feels like it's an attacker, but it's also like a not like a full on tank, but like very tanky at the same time. And maybe in five man queues, it's different story for Venusaur. I'm not too sure, but I play mainly in solo queue. And when and when you're in solo queue, a lot of the time you're with teammates or against enemies who aren't communicating like a five man would. So it's up. It's a lot harder to counter Venusaur, basically. So yeah, it's just crazy. In my tournament that I played a while ago, not a while ago, this was like, I think last month or it was like within the month, or I don't remember when it was, but in that tournament, we didn't use Venusaur, but a lot of the enemies we went against in the tournament, like even like against some of the best players in Pokemon Unite, they, we did go against a lot of Venusaurs on, our, um, on their team. And we didn't pick Venusaur until our last set. And when we did this, it was so easy. Like, we were going against 5 mans, like 5v5s, and it was insanely strong how Venusaur can just do all that damage and not die. <laughs> he just took so much. But this is just my little rant, and please leave your rants in the comments down below or your your thoughts or all that jazz. I don't mean to sound like super preachy or anything, but I know a lot of players are frustrated with Venusaur and there were even some tweets, like even some of the top players are saying that Venusaur needs a nerf because Venusaur is just like too strong at the moment. And there are some Pokemon out there that I also think are very strong, like, you know, Lucario is really strong. Um, like very strong. I do think Lucario needs a nerf because Lucario did receive a nerf, but it wasn't, it didn't really feel like it did anything. I also think Zero Aura is really strong, like personally, I don't know if that's just me. But I just think Zero Aura is, needs a nerf as well, but <laughs> Zero Aura somehow just keeps getting buffed. But yeah, I uh, don't want to like, you know, I, if you're a Venusaur main, you must be like, you know, it must feel good that, you know, your, your Pokemon has got some buffs and it's viable now. And I want Venusaur to stay in a viable spot. I want Venusaur to stay in a very like good spot, but in a spot where it's fair for everyone. All right, I died eventually. I was just like, when am I going to die here? Because I was alive for such a long time. It was crazy. But see, we didn't even have much of like a team play thing going there, but I was still able to survive for that long. It's just insane. <laughs> it's like nuts. Okay, so we're getting zapped us here. Yeah, so I just want Venusaur to stay in a balanced spot, but I also want Venusaur to be fair for everyone, is what I want. Like, it's crazy. If a good, a really good player, not even a good player, like I would say like above average, like on Venusaur is very scary. Like it's just so easy to do what you can do. Oh, I might die. I actually might die here though. I survived for way longer than I did again though. That was really crazy. That was crazy. And we got three. Well, I didn't kill them, but I got the assist, I think. But we got three. Oh no. Wait. No, I could chop did. Nice triple kill. That's sick. I really don't know how assist works here at all. <laughs> Alright, so I want to do more ranting videos like this and you know, it's not it's nothing like I love Pokemon Unite and balancing is such a hard thing to do. It's not easy to balance a game and with how fast Sylveon got nerfed, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll see some more balanced spots for Venusaur and I want to talk more about the other Pokemon too because you know, Zero Aura and Lakari have been, have been really testing my patience these days <laughs> more than Venus, so I would say. Um, I'm just doing a little dance here because I guess we only have 30 seconds. Just waiting. There here comes the Crustle. The Crustle wants to do the... Uh, no, it doesn't have Score Shield? Oh. I haven't met a Crustle without Score Shield before. Maybe they don't have it yet unlocked. But yeah. That is the, uh, the rant. And I, I hope you found this, I don't know, but yeah, I don't mean to brag or anything. I do have a degree in common sense and with that, Venusaur is just 
not okay. It's just a bit too strong. <laughs> Let's see our scores here at the end. Let's see what we got. We went 14 and 5. That's nuts. That's crazy. I just, it's just crazy that we can do so much. And their Venusaur went 8 and 6. So their Venusaur was, did the best uh, KDA wise. And they went 8 and 6. Even with like a team that's not like, that's struggling against our team, they still managed to get a bunch of takedowns. So yeah, I would say Venus was really strong at the moment. I would like to see a more like balance adjustments for Venusaur. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you think Venusaur should get a balance adjustment. That is all for today's video. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that is all for today's video. Subscribe and click the bell for more Pokemon Unite mini rants, I guess. Like the video if you want Venusaur to be more balanced. I hope to see you trainers for the next one. Bye.